House Representative Eddie Lucio III says most students from the Valley who want to go to law school are forced to move to a city up north. He hopes that bringing a law school here will make it much easier for thousands to pursue their career goals. With the growing population of the Rio Grande Valley. We are a metropolitan area. We're no longer little rural South Texas. Texas House Representative Eddie Lucio III filed legislation to establish a law school in South Texas. We need to provide every uh, opportunity for higher education that every other urban center has in our state, whether it's Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. Currently, Brownsville has a total of one attorney per 768 residents, while nationally the rate is one per 253 residents. The nearest public law school to the region is more than 300 miles away at Austin's UT School of Law. If we were to have a law school here in the Valley, we would be more inclined to push ourselves, to challenge ourselves. Edinburgh native Frank Guerra graduated from law school in Dallas in 2011 and says he knows firsthand it is not easy for Valley aspiring lawyers to leave their hometowns to pursue their careers. If I know that I would have been able to save some money by living at home and uh, maybe working with people that I'm already familiar with, I think that that would have been a great opportunity. The Rio Grande Valley once had a law school in the 1980s, but it was shut down in the 90s because it never received accreditation from the American Bar Association. Lucio says he knows investing in a new school won't be easy. The worst that can come of it is we get the attention of existing law schools to say, hey, you know, we have capacity. Uh, we want to help South Texas. Uh, here's what we can do. Uh, but we, we want to make sure that students from UTRGV uh, are, are, are getting access to the existing law schools at a bare minimum. Lucio adds that part of the proposed bill would analyze how many law school students from the Valley are attending other law schools and how many are applying to determine how great the demand is. In the studio, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.